Alright everyone, welcome to the Madness Roundtable for 2017. We've got John here, we've got Fabian, we've got Nick Gifford, we got Blake Hilliard, uh, Brandon Boudreau, Brandon Gifford, and Jay Helquist. Um, sorry if I missed someone. I think that's pretty much all of us here today. Cam. But uh, we're not going to waste any time here, and we're just going to get jumping into the to uh, a little strategy session with Blake Hilliard, one of the uh, legendary champions of the Madness tournament. So, Blake, if you could give us a couple words on what it takes to win the Madness tournament, that'd be great. Hey, what's up, guys? So, a couple. Uh couple quick things that I think are important for all the reps um, as, as the madness starts yeah. is no, yeah. number one remember it's a marathon it's not a sprint so keep that in mind as you guys go out this week next week and then the next week that you, you don't want to go out and burn all your energy in the first week and have a massive week then get your butt kicked for the next few rounds so Always remember that and not a sprint. The next thing that I think is important is, is that anybody can be beat in this tournament. Take any, anybody for granted. Um, I remember one of the years that I was in it, um, I was going against uh, um, his name was CJ Rhodes. And I remember he was in Nick Gifford's office and, best day at the time was probably five or six and he threw down like a 12 spot that day so out of my mind because the kid was just slinging a count so keep in mind that anybody can go out and have a big day so don't look past anybody i lose you there for a second yeah that's for a second yeah, and can we get Fabian to mute his phone? Sorry about that. The last thing is, is um, don't get outworked by anybody. Uh, a lot of the time. It's easy to know that a lot of the people on go out and work. Let anybody come up and get you. So don't let anybody outwork you. Sorry, I keep getting a phone call halfway through this. So work hard. It's a, it's not a marathon or a sprint. It's a marathon. And then finally, the last thing is, is to um, don't look past anybody in this tournament. The reps, it'll throw down big numbers. So make sure. All right, thanks, guys. That's all I have. Thanks, Blake. All right, uh, we're going to jump right into some picks for the rookie tournament, or sorry, for the veteran tournament, um, and it all starts with everyone's overall pick. John, you want to start us off? Oh, yeah, going with uh, the guy that won it last year, going with Clay Shields. That's a good pick. All right, Brandon. That's a good pick. I'm going to go with McCade Brady. Kato. Kato, huh? He threw down the P-10. Yeah, so I'm going to that guy. Out. All right, I'm going with uh, the guy who won last year as well, Kyle Anderson. Oh, oh what? Good choice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, hey, uh, let's have Jay Helpers go next. No, I'm going with my golfing buddy, Kyle Anderson. Kyle Anderson. All right, he's a popular pick. Nick Gifford? I'm going with Clay Shields. He's got more internet accounts since being back May 21st than anybody else by a long shot. King of quality right there. He's got to redeem himself. All right, uh, Brandon Gifford. I like I like our king of quality from this year, Tate Foster. I throw it down, and being the home run derby champ, I think, is a big deal. Quality is huge in the madness. Yeah, absolutely. Love it. Uh, Fabian and Cam. So my pick uh, is this, the same, Tate Foster. I think quality is going to win it out. Plus, I don't know anybody who's more competitive than Tate. So I think uh, I think Tate wins it this year, except for maybe Cato. Cato? Cato is more competitive. 
but that guy is a monster. So I think Cato is going to be the one that does it. He's going to go out there and outwork everybody. Awesome. And those are our overall picks for the Veteran Madness. John, you want to jump into uh, your your final four for the Veteran Madness? Final four. I've got Clay. I've got McCreary. McCreary's won this thing before. You, you know, you just gotta the experience. I don't know, being there and the knowing how the strategy, how to do this thing. So uh, Clay McCreary can't cannot take the guy's a beast. And then I've also got Kyle Anderson in there. Nice. So I've got I think I've got Clay and Kyle in the finals. That's a, that's pretty good. That's what I have as well. I have Clay and Kyle in the finals, and then I believe I had Cam Brown also in the final four, and, uh, and I had uh, my fourth one. I don't remember who it was. Anyway, those are my top three. Uh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> my top three. I don't remember the board. All right. Um, okay, moving on. Uh, we got our Cinderella picks, and they're coming from Fabian and Jay. Fabian, you want to tell us who your Cinderella pick is? pick in the veteran is Brandon Yule. I, I, and he's not much of a Cinderella. He's a 15 seed, but out of 64. But I still think Brandon Yule's the guy that could turn it on and come on real strong and, and uh, win the tournament. I love it. Thanks, Fabian. Jay? That's a good pick. Jay Hellquist? I would, you got me now? Sorry, I was muted. You're good. Yeah, we got you. That was my pick. Brandon Ewell was also my pick. But, <laughs> but I, I will say this. I do have – I probably am the only person that has Cam Brown in the final two. I have Brandon Ewell making a Cinderella run to the final four, but I got Cam Brown in the final two. I like that. That's a good choice. All right, uh, moving on. We got wait, wait, you can't have the same Cinderella pick, dude. Boudreau? I'd go with Dylan Clark. How about Dylan Clark? Oh, He's right there by Brandon Yule. That's another one that's, that's a great young Cinderella guy that pick. might just finally go shine and take it to that next level. Yeah. Um, Dylan can throw down. He he can throw down a huge day, so. That is true. All right, moving on. Most improved run. Cameron Connolly first. Most improved run. So... If I'm understanding this right, it's something that uh, a guy that didn't do, didn't make it very far maybe last year. And I'm going with Braxton uh, McFarland. I think that, I think he's a 12 seed and nobody is thinking about him right now. So I think you're going to see him go uh, quite a ways this year. Yeah, I like that pick. You see him on the top 10 quite pretty often. So, um, and then our second uh, is Nick Gifford. Who's your most improved round? Most improved run, Grayson Bankhead. Nobody's uh, nobody's looking at him either. He's gonna make. He's making a big run this year, I think. All right, thank you, Nick. Um, and then finally, this is our last veteran pick. Um, we got the upset alert first round. So we got Brandon Gifford and Brandon Boudreaux. We're gonna put a match on upset alert. Brandon Boudreaux, who's your uh, who's your upset alert? Well, you guys aren't gonna like this, but uh, upset alert for me on the first round is Clay. Cody Mascarenas. Ooh. Hernandez. Oh, Hernandez. Sorry. Cody Hernandez. Yep. All right. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a good one. one. That's a pretty good one. He's the number one seed. Cody Mascarenas was thrilled with that pick for like one second. <laughs> <laughs> I love both Cody's. All right, Brandon Gifford, who's your, uh, who's your upset alert? I feel like I shouldn't have told Booty my my choice before, <laughs> before we started this. That was hold on, give me a second while I scroll through this for a second. That was that was that was my pick. I don't know if you guys are looking at numbers right now, but uh, Cody Hernandez is throwing down. Um, so Clay, you better you better turn it up a little bit. Um, you know the other upset I like um, in here is uh, give me just a second. Let me find it again. I like – I know Jay's got Cam going, but I like Branson over Cam Brown. Branson Bowler over Cam Brown. Um, I like – I think Branson's a little bit of a sleeper. I think that gets pretty competitive and and uh, and knows how to put some numbers in. So, I think he – I think he beats Cam. 
like that. Yeah, we were talking about that a little bit earlier. Those uh, those alarm guys, you can never really count them out. They uh, they know how to work a competition. That's for sure. Another one that I was looking at that I didn't say was uh, I was actually uh, Jake Zimmer against Braxton McFarland. I know you guys are really big on Braxton, but Jake's also done a few times, so it's kind of a kind of a tough draw first round for Braxton. Guys, that those are our picks for the veteran bracket. Um, we're moving on to the rookie bracket. Um, so we're going to go through the list again, and everyone's going to say who their favorite for the for the uh, for the bracket is. John Shields. Koa. Can't, that guy's just going to be so hard to beat. Brandon? Well, I'm going to have to go against John and say Emily Tedford. I'm going with the girl. Ooh, ooh, all right. She's good. She's consistent, yeah, too. Yeah. Every single competition, she's up there. I'm going to go with Emily as well. I'm, I'm feeling really strong about that. Emily Tedford. All right, going down, uh, we got Jay Helpless. Oh, I'm going with Miss Chase. I have three of the final four being the ladies of now, and I have Miss Chase winning the whole thing. Dude, that's a good call. All right, Nick Gifford. I'm going with Sterling McCarroll. You guys been slinging lately. Wow. He's the second top rookie on the year, right? Since June first. Since June first. Since June first. Since June first. Which, when you're picking your brackets, you gotta you gotta analyze more than just the seeding week. Yeah. That was a great pick, uh, Nick Gifford. All right, moving down. Uh, we got uh, Fabian. Fabian Camp. So I'm also. Uh, I, I think the ladies of now are pretty much dominating this year, and I think we're gonna have a rookie win it all. And I think it's gonna be. Carla Glody Chase. I think she's got what it takes. I think she's. Her name's Kayla. Her name's Kayla. <laughs> Kayla <laughs> job. Really impressive. Really memorable. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be crazy not to pick Koa. Koa's going to take this whole thing. Um, there's nobody that can beat him. So easy pick for me, Koa. All right. Thanks, guys. Those were your overall picks for the tournament. Um, oh, uh, yeah, we can go ahead, Dan. That's fine. <laughs> Hey, I actually have a crazy one, so I, I really wanted to say something. Um, nobody's thinking about her and might be a Cinderella, but I like Britta Bankhead. Britta Bankhead had a four spot last week, and I think I think that was her second week of knocking. So watch out for her. She's getting yeah, warmed up. Britta Bankhead upset in my rackets. There it I, is. I never go all the way, it's but I have the upset. girl in the room. Yeah. I'm, t- I'm telling you, Britta's, Britta's, uh, Britta's somebody to watch out for. She, like her second week knocking, she had a four spot. So so watch out. That's legit. Yeah. Love it. All right. We got, uh, we got uh, the final four coming from Fabian and Brandon Boudreau. Who are you guys' final four for the rookie tournament? All right. So my final four now, I, I've got confused with their name, Kayla or Carla, but – <laughs> is that why you called her Mrs. Chase? Um, anyway, I think she's going to be in it. I think that uh, I, I think that Koa will obviously be in the final four. I, I think my other picks are I think Dalton Nelson's going to turn it on. I think he'll be a final four, and then uh, I think it was Nick Gifford's pick to win it all, Sterling McCarroll. I think those are the four rookies that are going to be in the final four. All right, Brandon Boudreau. Well, I've got a, a little bit different final four in the tops. The top matchup, I've got Keiko Kane. Of course, you can't go away from him, but I'm going to go with Giovanni Rosero. I've really liked he's seeing him. He's in mine as well. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's doing good. So, And then on the bottom, I've got the Battle of the Girls. I've got Emily Tedford, and I've got Kayla. So it'll be an interesting interesting fight on that side. All right. Awesome. Moving on to the Cinderella picks. We got that from Cam Conley and Brandon Gifford. Cam? Brandon Gifford? Hey. Oh. Oh, you can't. My Cinderella pick? Is yeah, my, Cinderella Cinderella pick? Pick? my Cinderella pick is Alex Zocker. Dude, he's right there in the middle of the pack, and I think that he's going to he's gonna surprise a lot of people. He's been killing it here lately. Alex Zocker. All right. I like it. Brandon Gifford. So I said Britta for my overall, so I'm going to pick a different, buddy, different person for uh, – uh, my Cinderella. I like Jaden Connor. He's, I think he's ranked about 20 right now. I, I'm just a fan of that kid. I he, 23. He's ranked 23 right now. He he can sell, and I think he's gonna upset a lot of people in this. All right, 
we, those were our Cinderella picks. Um, now we're going to go to upset alert with John Shields first. So I don't know how much of an upset alert this is, but I uh, I went through and I was just looking at all the the standing since June first, and I've got Emily Tedford's a, a huge favorite, but I actually have Sterling McCarroll taking her out. I don't, it's like the second or third round. So that's that's the upset alert I'm calling. Then I've got him going all the way to the finals against Akoa. All right. So, um, and then upset alert, Nick Gifford. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we lost Nick then. Okay, we lost Nick. I think that about wraps it up for us then, guys. Uh, thanks for watching the Madness Roundtable. Uh, I'm sure we'll be bringing you more Facebook Live videos and uh, you know just more commentary as this thing goes through. We all love talking about it and watching you guys go out there and perform. So um, We already have more brackets filled out than we've had in all the previous years. And uh, the great thing is, go prove us right or go prove us wrong. But either way, you've got something to go prove. Yep, hey, and, and also, go go on there, find my bracket. Remember, I'm in charge of almost all of the approvals. And so if you're deep in my bracket, give me a call. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and with that, we will talk to you guys later. Later, dude.